This week is Banned Book Week, during which libraries and bookstores celebrate books that have been challenged. Channel 8's Rebecca Heckel tells us more about the freedom to read. According to the American Library Association, in 2021, 729 books in the U.S. were challenged due to their content, a marked increase from previous years. A report from Reuters says it's because of an increase in advocacy groups. Personally, I think uh, the attack on people, on people not their characters, but, but how people view their actions and attacks on the freedom of the press are, are very frightening um, because that's one way to control the narrative. Bergstrom has several stories of people complaining about books the store was selling. The fact is just because a book is frightening and the things in the book we find are reprehensible, it is still a part of our culture. And it is still, I always believe that in order to understand history, you do have to read it. Lincoln Public Libraries has displays advocating for books that have been challenged, and according to the ALA, an overwhelming majority of books being challenged include LGBTQIA plus themes. So we want to be inclusive of everyone that's in our community, and I think as we move forward, we really want to stay cognizant that as representatives of our community, we want everyone in our community to be able to see each other and to see themselves in the materials that we bring forward to folks. This week, libraries and bookstores are celebrating the books that have seen opposition, but stayed on their shelves advocating for the freedom to read. Libraries in general are the true representation of a democracy. When books are kept in the shadows, they create, their uh, lore is created around them, a stigma is created around them. And when we make them open to people, people can make the choice to read them and see how they feel about them and how it best fits in with their family and their lives. Reporting in Lincoln, Rebecca Heckel, Channel 8 News.